Hi everyone, it's Tracia from Cheeky Journals. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share this book with you by Jennifer Orkin Lewis. It's called The Sketchbook Idea Generator. And this was a book that I didn't actually know was out there. Usually when I go to the bookshop, I've got a specific book in mind that I'm looking for that I want to purchase. But this was a lovely surprise. I flicked through it and I immediately loved it, which doesn't happen that often. I usually see something specifically that somebody's showcasing that I really like and I specifically go and search for that book. But this was a complete surprise, as I've said. And I thought I just want to share it with you. It is a new book. I think it was released in 2020 when I looked at the back of the book when it was published. And I got it from Dimex for $29.99. It says, not sure what to draw today. This unique book will ignite your creativity as you flip, mix and match the pages to generate endless new ideas for your art practice. The pages are sliced into three tabs that provide you with a subject, a medium and a technique and a color palette. And you can get over 100,000 sketchbook ideas. So I think this is a lovely book if you love sketching, doodling, drawing, you do it on a daily basis or even just once a week. I know as somebody that loves to journal, I will from time to time bring in doodles and even I think most people whatever creative space or capacity you are practicing in we always love experiencing new stuff so I thought this was a nice book to share with people that are in the journaling or artist community but I'm um, opening up the book we've got some doodles here she's got a very distinctive style I really love it it's something different and then we start off with just an introduction from her and how the book actually works. And then we go into medium techniques and demonstrations. So the first part of the book will give you a few ideas. And then also at the end of the book, it continues on page 146. So we start off with... Um, looking at watercolor and all the techniques that she will be covering in this book. So it's using blocks of color, wet over wet, wet over dry, using only outlines. We've got gouache, painting flat layers of color, layering wet over wet, layering wet over dry, and then using only outlines. Colored pencil is using shading, continuous lines, stippling and scribbles. So I think you get the idea. It's a medium with all the techniques that you can um, do with that medium. So we've got crayon and then we go into this part. But before I look at that, I want to continue on at the back of the book with more of the um, medium and techniques. So we have brush pen pen and ink so it's like adding water using cross hatching filling in outlines using stippling and then more pen and ink then we've got miscellaneous techniques like using a large brush a cotton swab your fingers an old brush it's really interesting to see how all those techniques can give you different looks and then we go into mixed media and styles so we've got the impression expressionistic realistic artist inspired cartoon pointillistic cubist impressionistic and pop art and those are all the different styles so then we go into the bulk of the book which takes up most of it so all these tabs you've got to play around with so how it basically works at the top all the top tabs will be your subject and then the second tab will be your medium and your technique so at the top it mentions a medium the bottom a technique and then right at the end we've got the colors so the idea is to basically just randomly open up 
somewhere. So our subject is a map of your neighborhood. And then going on to the second tab, we have to use the medium as a crayon and the technique using cross hatching. So if you don't know what cross hatching is, it gives you an example on page 14 that you can go look and read up on. And I thought that was um, really good. So I think this book will be good for beginners, but also people that have more experience which I quite like. So it covers a variety of things. And then we have color years. So the palette is deep olive, fern, bright lime, and amethyst. Now, earlier in the book, in the introduction, she did explain that if anything here doesn't speak to you, don't feel pressure to use it. You can flip again. So let's say, for example, this color palette, um, I do not have some of these colors or I don't really like them try it out it's to explore and see different things but if you don't have any of these colors you can replace them with anything that is similar to it or just go again so here we've got navy light cobalt light blue light turquoise and pale blue so basically just grab five blues if you don't have exactly these colors or you are not really in the mood to look for it just grab any five blues that you've got and work with this if you don't have any crayons again just go to a different one maybe you've got some gouache in these colors so you can use gouache and your technique is using a large brush so if you don't have any of the mediums you don't have the colors you can replace it with something different i We'll show you some more um, of the subjects that you have. So a tattoo sleeve, a yurt, a yogi saying um, what you ate today, vintage salt and pepper shakers, today's weather, a summer picnic, St. Basil's Cathedral, someone walking a dog, a pigeon, so there's really like a whole load of ideas. A person singing in the rain, a person looking in a mirror, a mushroom patch. I really like that one. A moth with decorated wings, a modern building, a mermaid swimming. Yes, I love that. A Japanese garden ingredients for a sandwich a gallery wall so it's really covering a lot of things this one is also cute an imaginary creature that really speaks to me we have let's look at some of the mediums so watercolor layering wet over dry paint with the page where you can find the example a medium of your choice painting or drawing for just 10 minutes Colored pencil, layering and blending colors. Gouache, but you have to use your fingers. Medium of your choice, painting or drawing in a style inspired by an artist. Another gouache one, but this time use an old brush. Another medium of your choice, painting or drawing in a cartoon style mixed media making a collage with paper that you've colored yourself i mean there's so much here pen and ink drawing over a painted background and then the color palettes um sometimes they only have like three colors and in all the same shades and other times we deal with two colors and the most that i've seen i think that's going to be a lovely palette the most that I've seen is five colors. So really, I think this is such a unique and interesting book. It's something different. I love this idea and I thought I just wanted to share it with you if you haven't seen it yet. This is definitely a book that I think will be very useful and you'll keep using it in years and years to come. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.